Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and what you see in front of me right here is some, some coins that I, I have, and we have a lot of coins. We try to take them out of our pockets when we're done for the day, and we've taken our pants off, and we put the coins in a jar. But rather than putting coins in a jar, it makes sense to have ourselves a little coin sorter, and since I can 3D print all sorts of things, why not print a coin sorter? Also, what's great here, uh, I've got an Ultimaker 3 and I wanted to feed some ColorFab HT filament through it. Uh, the, the Ultimaker Cura doesn't really allow for the, the customization options that I really wanted for the ColorFab HT, so I had a slightly difficult time printing it. Well, the print, the print finished and it, it looks like this. It, it comes in two parts and then those two parts go together and then the coins go in the top and uh, they, they drop through these holes and then they fall down in here. And the idea is you can take off the top and you can get your stack of coins out. This is a MakerBot model. We'll see how well it works. Uh, I, I did notice that uh, this isn't anything to do with the Ultimaker 3, but the ColorFab HT did leave some little nuggets around that I, I do need to pick off. Um, for some reason, the ColorFab HT, uh, it, it started breaking right here, which is, I don't know, it doesn't, I don't think I had the settings perfectly right for the filament, and I'll talk to ColorFab to see what the perfect settings are for the Ultimaker 3. I'll also, I'll play around with it, but look, here it is. Here's a US quarter. The idea is you put the coins in the top, and as it goes around this circle, it'll drop into the slots with the quarter slot being in the middle. Here we go. All right, well that didn't work as expected. The quarter got stuck, and it got stuck because there are these filament droplings all over the place where the head moved and left a little bit of oozed filament out. Of course, you can control the ooze with temperature and with retraction, and I was just testing this filament. Maybe, maybe a dime will work. Hey, a dime kind of worked. Did you see that? Okay. I gave it some convincing. Let's try a penny. Nope. Penny. Oh, wait. Penny. Penny? Penny? Nope. Looks like we've reached the end of this test of ColorFab HT for a coin sorter, at least in this configuration. I think there were issues with the filament and how I printed it. And I don't think that, I don't think it performed as well as it could have. Uh, that said, I don't want it to end right here. So let's set this aside. Let's bring out this one. So this coin sorter is the exact same model, but this coin sorter was printed on the Lulzbot Taz 6 in Polymaker Polylite PLA. This isn't a Lulzbot Ultimaker comparison, and this is definitely not a ColorFab HT PLA comparison. It's just a matter of two different materials printed on two different printers. But the settings for this material on the TAS-6 are built into Lulzbot's Cura, and it printed just phenomenally well. One of the interesting things, uh, bed adhesion for the ColorFab HT on the Ultimaker was a little suspect, and I, I do have plenty of lifting, whereas the Polymaker Polylite PLA stuck down just fine. Plus, everything is strong, and when you put it together, the bottom of this piece is the, it matches up perfectly with the top of this piece, and it almost feels like it could be a single piece, whereas when these go together, boy, I guess I gotta put them together the right way. There we go. You can see that there are places where lifting has happened and the sides don't quite match up. This isn't, this isn't a condemnation of the ColorFab HT by any means. Of course, I do want to play with this material because it's a really fun material, but it's just me needing to find the proper settings. Let's just set it over here. Let's bring out the Polymaker Polylite PLA TAS-6 print, and let's do what we did before and try a quarter. That seemed to work. Let's try a dime. Okay. It looks like the dime did fall through the correct hole, but uh, it fell out of the holder because the dime came out 
that way. I guess what can you expect? Uh, I guess it works some of the time because it's a MakerBot model. That was a joke. Let's try a penny. Okay, the penny came out. Let's try a nickel. Nickel stayed. Let's try multiple. Okay, I think we put this coin sorter through enough of the of a test in order to kind of see how well this model works. I do have a jam. It, it performs okay. If we can separate this right here and I'll turn it around, you can see that there are some quarters in there and those fell correctly. There's a dime, there's also a penny. Nickels fell correctly. It looks like the dimes kind of spilled out. Pennies, sometimes uh, a penny is the one that got caught right here. That's a cool little model though. It's a, definitely a functional print. And if you're interested in sorting coins or if you have kids, this is a neat model itself. I think that 3D printing and coin sorting is kind of cool because you can come up with all sorts of really cool 3D printed devices that can make the coins go in different, in different pathways and different combinations. And it's a, it's a good way to teach kids about currency and coins. And then with 3D printing, of course, I, I'm US based and so I have US coins, but uh, all sorts of countries have all sorts of different sized currencies. So there's no reason why you can't use 3D printing to customize a coin sorter for your country's coinage. Well, that was fun. Look, uh, this was, this was kind of cool. I know it was just a little print, but I think, I think it was neat because it showed that I'm attempting to dial in settings on the Ultimaker 3 for ColorFab HT. I think it also showed that the Polymaker Polylight PLA performs exceptionally well and the Lulzbot Taz 6 is doing a phenomenal job at printing. This is one of the test prints for the review, so the Lulzbot Taz 6 review is coming up shortly. Well, with that in mind, let's call it good. I do have my Mario coin bank and although I don't send myself fan mail, it doesn't mean that I can't also donate to the cause. So I really appreciate you viewing this video. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was interesting or cool. Uh, leave a comment if you had any questions or if you have a coin sorter that you like to 3D print, maybe you can send a link my way and then I could print it out myself. A big huge thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Uh, I've got some cool stuff coming that way and I'm going to share some information that I can't share publicly quite yet so you guys will get to hear that first. Hey, you know what? Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys. As always, high five.